Good afternoon, family. How's everybody doing today on this uh, Wednesday, a.k.a. Hump Day? Hopefully, every single one of you guys is having a wonderfully blessed day, whether you're at work, at home, hanging with your loved ones, just being safe, doing whatever it is that you do in this beautiful world that we live in. This is your boy, Jaime G, coming at you to let you know what's going on in the wild, wild west of Cryptoland. Guys, we have an action-packed video today. We have a lot of content uh, to cover on Doge and the overall crypto market, so let's just dive right into the content. But before we do that, None of this is financial advice. It's just me sharing my thoughts and opinions. Nothing more, nothing less. And uh, congratulations to Tony G, who is the lucky contestant, or subscriber, not contestant, rather, to win my $300 uh, giveaway in crypto. He's been with me since day one. Uh, he's been a true loyal subscriber. But I also want to say thank you to all my new subscribers as well. Much love to you guys, man. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. And thank you very much. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, you can see the overall markets are looking peachy. Just peachy. Everything is looking great. Everything is looking green like dinero, like money. And we like to see green in the um, overall crypto markets. Because when it's green, our accounts are, are in the green or at least recovering, <laughs> right? So Bitcoin right now, guys, is at uh, 31858 It is up 7.10%, which is looking good, right? Because, you know, we were down 20, I think 29400 is uh, what it hit. Uh, yesterday right guys but now it's been chugging and working its way back up so that is obviously a really good thing but we need bitcoin to continue to push up right guys for this next leg up in the bull run i truly believe we're not done yet right anyways all right enough of grandpa sorry about my neighbor's dog sparking guys all right let's get into it with a uh, good old dogecoin the superstar of the day it is up 9.85 percent for the day we are at 18 cents right now guys and we had a 24 hour high of 20 cents in a 24-hour low of 16 cents, right, guys? That is a very, very, uh, that is like the last uh, level of support, right, guys? We'll get into that as well, but that is like the super last level of resort, of resort, of support at 16 cents. If we were to dip lower than 16 cents, it could get ugly fast, quick, in a hurry. But we're not even going to talk about that because that's, who cares about that, right? Because we're not even there. All right, uh, market cap is sitting at $24.62 billion. Volume, wow, it's Way up, guys, compared to yesterday. 24-hour volume is sitting at $4.23 billion. That is up over $3 billion, guys, since yesterday. Yesterday, we were at like $1.1 billion, $1 billion. So we are a little bit over $3 billion, right, within 24 hours, which is a very good sign. All right, guys, now let's dive into the chart real quick. Just briefly, I don't want to take too long. We're going to just look and see what's going on here. <clears throat> and things are looking pretty good right now, guys, on the chart. Uh, let me shrink myself up. As you can see here, right, guys, uh, I have two red lines, right? Those are my levels of resistance and support. The bottom line, we'll, we'll talk about support first, is the 200-day moving average. Now, as you can see, yesterday we broke we broke past it because it was actually acting as a level of resistance, right? We had flipped temporarily flipped the trend, which means uh, when something is support ends up becoming resistance or vice versa. So uh the 200 day moving average was our support we dipped below it as you can see in the chart here right and we were kind of struggling to break back above it but as for as yesterday right we broke back above it right and and the uh ugh, tongue tight and the candle that is forming for today is above it as well guys so we have about a day and a half now above um the 200 day moving average so our support guys is at 18 cents for now right which is the 200 day moving average but as you can see we are we actually wicked past our level of resistance there for a minute right and we wicked all the way up what is that to 21 cents guys right uh because that red line is our level of resistance which is the 20 day moving average right um so we have brief we briefly broke through the 200 day moving average and the 20 day moving average but as you can see we retraced and pulled back right guys so <clears throat> the key takeaway from looking at this chart is uh the 20 day moving average is our still our resistance and that is at 20 cents now and our current uh, level of support which is the 200 day moving average is sitting at 18 cents that's just my opinion i think uh what we're looking at right now when we look at the chart all right guys never take this financial advice but all right i like to keep it pretty simple and uh beginner friendly uh when we're looking at the charts now let's dive into uh some fundamentals because we got a lot to cover all right guys so let's get rid of this one here all right, first, I wanted to just briefly reiterate or reach, uh, look at this article here, right, guys? Now, it says, uh, it says, could Doge and Doge can marketing campaign help Axe parent Unilever, right? Now, for those of you that don't know, 
right? Axe came out with a can, a uh, limited uh, can, right? It was a thousand cans for U.S. Uh, customers, right? It was like a a giveaway, if you will, rather, right? To a thousand, uh, and it's limited. They don't make it anymore, right? So it could be worth money in the long run. Now it says the rise of the interest in Dogecoin and the motto, uh, do only good every day, has led to new influencers in the cryptocurrency space. The passionate community around Dogecoin has also led to comp companies accepting the meme coin crypto as a payment option and launching new products featuring Dogecoin. Now it says what happened. Now it says uh, a top selling deodorant, uh, brand right for those of you that don't know they are worth 2.5 billion now guys this is a good thing for public for positive publicity for dogecoin just think about all the people that are seeing this now right that may ha may have never heard of doge but because they like axe products now they have right now then they might be curious about doge so like i said it's not a little chump change small company right they're worth 2.5 billion so they have a lot of uh, influence behind them right so i say all that to say this now this is a positive catalyst for doge why? Because it gives it publicity, and it's positive publicity. All right. So it says the deodorant can featuring the Dogecoin Shiba Inu quickly sold out at no cost, which led to Axe's website saying much disappointment to those not lucky enough to place their orders. Axe teased to release the Dogecoin previously, and at one time said it would it would release the Dogecoin if the cryptocurrency reached one dollar. The overwhelming response from Axe fans and Dogecoin enthusiasts blew us away, and it turned and in turn decided that. The that creating a limited drop of Axe Dogecoins was something we wanted to do for our both Axe and Dogecoin loyalists, said the Axe brand director, Marks Lodwick. All right, guys. Now, I just wanted to briefly touch on that, right? Because that's a positive kind of... Now, we have... Um, where is it at? Here. Here's a tweet from... Um, uh, a coin from Coindesk, right? Now, it says new... It says Coinbase's e-commerce platform has begun accepting Dogecoin or payments guys now this is just another notch on the belt for dogecoin right there is over 1400 companies right that accept dogecoin as a form of payment right and then you also have over 1800 atms where you can go uh put fiat or slide your card and you can buy dogecoin right and then you can start to hodl dogecoin right which is pretty cool man uh Easy access makes it more better, right, for the retail investors such as you and I. So I just wanted to show you this. Another person, uh, and we all know who Coinbase is, right? It's their e-commerce platform, right, that is now accepting Doge as a form of payment. Okay, so now there's some other positive stuff, right? Now let's get into some more goodies. All right, we got a lot to cover, guys. I'm going to try to go quick now. It says, Elon Musk says SpaceX has bought Bitcoin personally, owns Ethereum and Dogecoin. Now, he's not talking about... Tesla, the company, right? Because we know they own 1.5 billion. But he's talking about as himself, right? As a as a person, he's saying that he owns, right? Because Elon Musk was among the speakers at the B Word, a conference meant to promote Bitcoin. Jack Dorsey and Kathy Woods also attended. Speaking at the online conference called the B Word, Elon Musk said that he has said that his aerospace tech company SpaceX has invested in Bitcoin. I do own Bitcoin. Tesla owns Bitcoin. SpaceX owned Bitcoin, right? So everything, his company, SpaceX, and himself own Bitcoin is what he's saying, right? He said, revealing that he also personally owns Ethereum and Dogecoin, right? <clears throat> That's what we're more focusing on is Dogecoin, right? But the other coins are good as well. He did not disclose the amounts that he or his companies have invested, though did say that, the, that he owns significantly more Bitcoin than Dogecoin or Ethereum right according to the official website of the b uh b word the conference aims to explain how institutions can embrace bitcoin and how we can all support the network all right guys i'm not gonna dive all into that i just wanted to show right that he personally not just his company but <clears throat> owned dogecoin right and so does uh spacex and so does um tesla right which is cool man that's a good thing all right guys so now that is pretty much what i had as far as uh uh news geared towards dogecoin goes now we're gonna dive into crypto um Right, a lot of positive crypto, right? And but this um affects Dogecoin as well, guys. So now that's why this is very, very important, right? Because what's good for Bitcoin is good for their overall crypto markets, especially Dogecoin, right? So now we know that uh Tesla uh temporarily stopped taking um Dogecoin as a form of payment because of the whole green thing, right? But things are looking promising, right? And we're just that much closer to, to uh uh, 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 Tesla accepting Doge as a form of payment again. Now it says Elon Musk says Bitcoin may have already hit benchmark on renewable energy. Now, that is huge, right, guys? Because that is just huge, right? Now it says Tesla, uh, Elon Musk has hinted that the cryptocurrency is on its way to toward greener future, but Tesla won't be accepting Bitcoin payment just yet, right? Almost, but not yet. Speaking at the B word, 
<clears throat> a virtual Bitcoin BTC event with Twitter uh, CEO Jack Dorsey, ARX investor Skeptic Wood, and moderator Stephen Lee from Square uh, Crypto Musk said that Tesla would most likely consider resuming crypto payments for its vehicles, a policy that the CEO said the company would be stopping in May, but said he needed to exercise diligence before making a decision, right? It says there appears to be a positive trend in the energy use of Bitcoin, said Musk, uh, expressing skepticism at the speed at which the network had moved towards green energy sources. There's just no way you could basically double or triple the amount of energy in such a short period of time with renewables. Tesla's mission is accelerating sustainable energy. We can't be the company that does that and not do appropriate diligence on the energy usage of bitcoin right now it says he added it looks like bitcoin is shifting a lot more towards renewables and a bunch of the heavy duty coil plants that were uh unequivalently being used have been shut down especially in china right we all know that i want to do a little more diligence to confirm that that the percentage of renewable energy is most likely at or above 50 percent and that there is a trend towards increasing that number if so tesla will resume accepting bitcoin Right, guys, now that is a major plus, right, for, like I said, for Bitcoin and the overall crypto markets. Okay, now we're going to get into, uh, here we go here. Where are we at here? <clears throat> now, to reiterate on that, let me, let me get in this other article here because I got a lot of stuff, like I said, to get into. All right, right here. Then he says, Elon Musk says Tesla will most likely resume accepting Bitcoin, according to you today, Right. Uh, now it says uh, the entrepreneur noted that the Bitcoin's energy use has gone up due to its Tesla dr dr driven price rally earlier this year, but also acknowledged that it, that its energy mix was shifting toward renewables due to China banning the mining industry. It says uh, it looks like Bitcoin is shifting more towards renewable and it looks like some coal plants in China have been shut down. There is a trend towards more than 50% renewables. In that case, Tesla will resume Bitcoin. Like I, like I said, right, this one, this article just reiterates on the one that i just read right that bitcoin is really striving on trying to you be more greener and use more renewable energy efficient right to mine bitcoin right and if so tesla is gonna ex start accepting bitcoin again and that is huge guys that is huge like i keep saying for the overall markets now guys i just wanted to uh, show briefly share some more news right to show you that that uh the the desire and the want for crypto hasn't gone anywhere, right? And institutions and major players still want it and they're still buying the dip, right, guys? And that I'm, I'm showing that to you guys to show that, man, just because we have, have taken a dip in price, so on and so forth, doesn't mean that crypto is going anywhere, man. This is the beginning stages, right? And it's like the internet. It's the beginning of the internet, guys. All right, guys, I'm almost done, right, guys? I just wanted to show you uh, two more articles, right? Uh, raise it at right here. It says right here. All right now it says This is in you today if you want to do your own research and look it up It says Goldman Sachs survey shows 45% of family offices want to invest in cryptocurrencies Now this is coming out of a major fortune 500 company guys now This is saying a lot right a lot of people know who Goldman Sachs is if you don't know They're a major bank company right <clears throat> and they own trillions of dollars uh, under them, right? so it says a recent Goldman Sachs survey of more than 150 family offices around the globe shows that 45% of them are interested in investing in cryptocurrencies. Notably, 15% of survey participants already have exposure to the uh, nascent asset class. Those who are looking to get into um, get in on the, the cryptocurrency frenzy are worried about a long-lasting low interest rate environment and rising inflation. All right, guys, you know what I mean? So that's why I wanted to point out some of this positive attributes and what's going on still in the crypto markets right guys people are still interested in um in in, in the uh thing in, in crypto right now i'm gonna close out with this it says major of institutions investors are, are ready to buy digital assets study say thank you if you're still with me guys i know my videos are going a little long it says new data shows that institutional investors interested in cryptocurrencies and crypto related businesses is continuing to grow it doesn't say oh it's dipping right because of the price and and so on and so forth. No, it's saying people's interest is still peaking and it is still growing. It says Fidelity Digital Assets, the crypto arm of the global asset management giant Fidelity Investments, which is another Fortune 500 company, right? <clears throat> Tasked Coalition Greenwich to survey 1,100 institution investors to understand their 
uh, expectations regarding digital asset investments. The majority of surveyed investors expected in, invest in digital assets in the future. The survey was conducted between December 2020 and April 2021 with the participants of high net worth investors, people with, with big money is what they're saying. Um, Digital and traditional hedge funds, financial advisors, and endowments, uh, Reuters reported. The definition of a digital asset investment defined by the survey team included investing in cryptocurrencies directly by crypto-related company stocks or exposure through other investment products. Some 70% of participants expect to invest in digital assets within the next five years. Nine out of ten who are invested, who are interested in investing foresee their company or their clients' portfolios adding digital assets within same time window. Now this is, <clears throat> excuse me guys. Now this is what I had for you guys. Hopefully it was very informative and, and, and helpful. If it was, please consider to like and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, on the daily, I, I bring you Doge and overall crypto news to keep you informed with the latest and greatest. You guys have a wonderfully blessed uh, Wednesday. Stay safe. Hi, G is out until tomorrow. Peace, family.